Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to marinate my chicken into some beautiful spices, garlic and yogurt. And I'm going to let it rest overnight so that we can have some beautiful, nice, thick gravy chicken. So here is my chicken. As you can see, and I am going to put in my mixture of masala. Normally I use um, biryani masala, and I've got some Durban Oriental mixed masala, ginger and garlic, and that's my biryani. So then I'm going to pour in some of it with my teaspoon. I'm going to start off with my Durban Oriental mix masala this you can get at your local um food lovers market you're just gonna take a half a spoon like that put that back in and then i've got my ginger masala i'm also gonna pour that over it is quite strong so we must just be careful that we don't over spice because tomorrow We'll be making the chicken curry and then <clears throat> we wouldn't want the curry to be too hot and that is my biryani masala very nice you pour it over your chicken like that we're not going to use any other spices and then we're going to take like we're gonna like just stir it a bit before we use the yogurt so the masala can just mix into it and then i'll be using my just like that so it can be all mixed in into the chicken and the flavors just rub it in so we can be nicely be into the chicken just rub it in like that you don't want to over spice it but in places where you see you can put in a little bit of spices more where you missed a few places you can do that this is beautiful fresh fresh chicken from our local supermarket just rub it in like that make sure that all the spices are equally into the chicken you can use your hands to just rub it in like that just add a little bit more just a little bit we don't want it too hot when we make it tomorrow. I think that will do. Then we take our double thick cream, creamy yogurt. It is double cream. And then we just pour it over the chicken. This is like marinating the chicken overnight, marinating it. And it's going to give it such a lovely thick gravy when we make the chicken curry tomorrow we will also be cooking lentils tomorrow with a chicken curry and i think we're gonna make it with some samp white samp for a change from the rice and the pasta i think we can do it with samp or we can do it with some nice beautiful rice then if we think the samp and uh, and uh, is too much it's going to be too much uh, you know too heavy but uh, i really like samp and beans so i think the samp will be nice we'll see we'll see how do we feel tomorrow then you just wrap the plain yogurt in beautiful pieces of chicken 
fresh from the farm it is not that tough chicken it's soft chicken and then you just rub it in with your hands it's better to use your hands because then all the flavors get mixed into the chicken like that There we go, and then we put some garlic in, like a spoon of garlic. You can use crush or fresh garlic. Just put in some there, some of the juices. You just pour over, and then you just rub it into the chicken. It's going to give it such a lovely flavor. So this is just what we're going to do for today, for now. And then we're going to cover it with the foil and let it overnight. And tomorrow we're going to continue with the cooking so that we can do the lovely, beautiful chicken curry with some mixed veg in. And there's my chicken. It is going to, it's got a beautiful reddish color. And it's going to overnight in the fridge until tomorrow. And then we can start making the chicken curry. This is just something extra that I'm doing. So you guys can just dry it out and you won't be sorry my hands are clean by the way very clean okay, wash over there okay guys thanks for joining me we'll see what happens tomorrow with my fresh chicken that i'll be putting in the fridge It will be staying in the fridge overnight. Cover it with foil. So that you can have this beautiful, beautiful chicken tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. I can't wait to make this chicken for you tomorrow. Fresh from the fridge on the stove with some onions, with some masala, fresh ingredients, green pepper, and there we go, and some mixed veg. Thank you guys.